Quick. This is, these are the rules. Yes. Quick. No thinking. Yes. Just first answer that comes okay. to mind. Got it? Jeez. Okay. This is a lightning <laughs> round. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Pred unpredictable, risk taker, and fierce. When I say the word successful, mm -hmm. who's the first person that comes to mind? I want to say my husband. Oh, yeah. why? Um, he, his being, like, he's just everything. His energy, he just doesn't see it, but he's everything. He is everything. He's the most kindest soul that I've ever met, and yet very, um, like, he's just amazing. That's successful. That's being, like, you're being authentic to who you're supposed to be. You're working on yourself every single day. You're trying to break down all those stories you're telling yourselves, and yet you get up every morning with the same dedication, the same, you know, passion for changing people. Yeah. He's crazy. Incredible yeah. He's description crazy. of your husband. Yeah, he's, he's everything. Yeah. Aww, that's, that's amazing. That's an incredible. Okay, favorite book? Uh, right now it's Super Attractor. Yeah. Favorite gift to give? Um, I would have to say it has to be a, a, maybe a crystal or something like that. I would say that. What do you love about where you live? <laughs> Should I say pizza? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I live in Woodbridge. Um, what do I love about where I live? There's green. There's green space there. I'm going to ask you this. Favorite item of clothing, and I'm hoping you're going to leave that skirt behind when you go. Like, but I wouldn't feel like... Uh, favorite God, no, item my, of clothing. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like a particular anything, piece? whatever, do whatever you love. Anything. You define it how you want to define it. Um, I love fur. And vegan people don't yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Since the vegan sitting I there. Love, so I, there's a girl on my team, and I just did this the like, Insta story at this store that I go to that they support me a lot, and I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, but I, I have a vegan company. I'm like, I'm sorry to all you vegans, but I, li I listen, I'm, I eat pretty much vegan. I just, I'm not, I can't go that extra step. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> Favorite time of day and why? Um, I would say five o'clock in the morning. It's just me by myself. I usually meditate at that time. I'm getting ready for giving to everybody else. If you could have dinner with any two people, they can be living or dead, who would you have dinner with and why? Um, I would probably have dinner with a past patient that I had. Mm -hmm. Joe uh, taught me a lot. And uh, also, I would probably say maybe Prince. <laughs> okay, let's start with Joe. Like, what's the lesson that you learned from Joe? Um... He was just uh, an amazing person that was uh, fighting colon cancer. And he just had this amazing mindset. And everyone was drawn to him because no matter what he was going through, he wanted to learn about you. So it kind of got me to learn about you got to get past your stuff because whatever you have going on, there's always somebody out there that has worse than you. And we don't know, like just by looking at someone, we don't know what's going on underneath. Um, but that man really touched my heart. Uh, I still talk to his, um, his wife every now and then. That's been like 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I, I, um, I would say Joe. And then I, I don't know why I said Prince, but I love Prince. And when he died, I cried. Just because, like, he's just music that makes you feel good. And music is has a way of, like, connecting people in a way that we don't see color, we don't see religion, and we just feel it, you know? And so I think he was amazing. Okay, so let's talk about food and what you love to eat. I know you're healthy. I know you, you eat. What's your favorite thing to eat? In the world? In the world. On the planet. So if I didn't have any stomach issues, uh, I would be eating like dal, um, oh, roti, yeah. stewed chicken, and kalu. Oh, yeah. all Chir the good Chir stuff. Chir 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 all yeah, the good I stuff. I love, love, love that. <laughs> all yeah, the good stuff. so good. What can't you get through the day without? A fist stick. <laughs> fist stick, I love that. What's the screensaver on your phone? Right now, it's my kids on vacation, but it's usually a beach because that's where I'm manifesting. Mm. I, I saw you. You won a, a vacation yeah. somewhere wonderful. Tell me about that. 
Um, I earned a trip to Mexico. Uh, we go in February. Last year, I earned a trip to Jamaica. We went there, and then we're going. We went to Mexico the year before that. Yeah, yeah just killing the game. Yeah. Killing the game. All right, back to your phone. What's your favorite app? Uh, Instagram. Mm. And other than your phone mm -hmm. and your wallet, mm -hmm. what do you carry with you every day? I always have a protein bar with me. <laughs> <laughs> So boring. So you never know when Lip you might loss. get hungry. I mean. <laughs> okay. So you named some amazing vacations that you've yes. had. Of all the places you've ever visited, what's your favorite? Um, Anguilla. Why? Uh, because it's picturesque and it literally, I took pictures on that beach and people thought it was a backdrop. Oh. It's, it's stunning. It's, there's nothing there. It's. It's just my my dream is to just sit on a beach and have nothing to worry about. Like just be present. So when we're on vacation, I mean, there's four kids. It's very busy, um, but I always take a moment to myself. And uh, the last time my mother lives in Jamaica, the last time we went there, I actually recorded the ocean because I didn't want like a fake ocean. I wanted like the real ocean, and then it was tied to a memory. Um, so that's it's it's called an anchor. With what I do, we kind of. Uh, create new behaviors by linking them with emotions. Um, so that's one of the things that I listen to when I'm stressed out. What would, uh, so talking about listening to things, yes. if you had to pick a theme song for your life, what would it be? It's Brand New Kind of Me by Alicia Keys. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Huh. That's, that's a good song. That is a good song. So you're just, <laughs> I just love you and I just think you're perfection, but what is your worst habit? Um, I leave stuff everywhere. <laughs> That's my worst habit. I don't put things back where they belong. Is your husband a very tidy? No. no? Oh. My <laughs> so next, he's leaving my stuff My next too. <laughs> step is declutter. There's, there's, I have four kids. When my mom's home from Jamaica, her and my stepdad live with us too. So there's six, no, there's eight people living in my house. It's crazy. <laughs> What do you wish you had more of in your life? Time. Mm. And what's a question that you wish people would ask you or that you wish I had asked you today? How do you like to leave people? How do you like to leave people? <laughs> I like to leave them a little bit better than I found them. That you do, Rabina. Thank you. That you do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is... Oh. Thank you so much. No, thank you. I'm it was like, so, so wonderful grateful. to finally get to sit down with you and ask you stuff and, and you can leave the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'd love to ask you as our community. So I want to know from you, who do you want me to have on the show? Who would you like me to interview? Who are some of the amazing women whose stories you would like for us to share on this platform? If you have any fantastic ideas, and even better, if you can connect me with them, please comment, leave your comment, or DM me and tell me who are some incredible stories I should be sharing on this platform. And the other ask that I have of you is for you to subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Follow us on social media. We're on Instagram and Facebook and share. Please share. If you find any of our interviews inspiring, please share them with your friends and family. 